So today what we're going to be doing is comparing Plex, MB, and Jellyfin, and we'll throw in a little Cody there. And a special thank you to all my patrons, who without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. Welcome to Technodad Life, and I'm Jeff. And so today what we're going to be doing is looking at the 3 plus 1 famous sort of media home video uh, centers. And so, of course, there is the big gun in the room, which is Plex. Uh, Plex has been, I think, around the longest and has the most features. And MB maybe has less features, but is half open source, half uh, closed source. And then there is the new kid on the block, which is Jellyfin, which is all open source. And it's actually based on the open source part of MB. And so when we take a look at it, it looks pretty similar. First thing before we go on, all the movies in the video today are from the Internet Archive and they are all and they are all free to use without any restrictions. Why I'm saying that is my last Plex video was demonetized for showing a few seconds of a video. Now, when we start out looking at these, they all do a couple things. So they all organize your media. They all keep all your media on a server. Uh, they play music. They all have a TV DVR. Uh, Plex is a little different and then it has it has some features which are sort of free but sort of paid. You either have to watch ads or you have to pay for those features. So if we look at Plex, and so this is what comes up if you look at the movies and TVs under Plex. So they do offer some free movies. So this is Crackle. And so Crackle is actually free to use anyways. So if you have a Roku or any other uh, set-top de device, you probably already have Crackle on there. And Crackle is a Sony company which uh, shows movies. The other different things about Plex, if we click over on web shows, it takes things from YouTube, has a news channel, podcasts, and you can even and you can even pay for a music subscription. Uh, the one thing about these different things over the extras in Plex is you can either get them free someplace else or you just wouldn't use them here. So uh, YouTube experience isn't the greatest. I wouldn't watch the news on my or read the news or watch the news on my TV. And podcasts are definitely not something I would listen to on my TV and I don't need another uh, music streaming service. So for me, those extras, which make uh, Plex so great, aren't really things I would ever use. Now, if we take a look at MB, basically it has all the same features, uh, plus maybe Cloud Sync, I don't think is on Plex. They all have different either web interface or apps or TV apps. So under MB Premiere, what are the differences here? So you get free apps, you get a DVR, offline media, cover arts, cloud sync. Maybe the things that attract most people would be cloud sync, automatically convert content, and then uh, smart home and backup and restore. Now out of these three apps, actually MB is the only one that has backup and restore and I think it's also the only one with Amazon Echo and Google integration, but Plex may have that, but uh, I'm not sure at the moment. If you know, put a comment down in the comments below and we'll find out. Another nice feature about MB, which uh, also Jellyfin has, is that you have an unlimited amount of users. So for Plex, in order to get uh, unlimited amount of users, you actually have to use or get the premier uh, subscription. Now, if we look at MB, you can see it looks very different than Plex does. We have our recently added is on the first page. 
On MB, this is our start page, and it has our media in general, and then our videos and photos, and then latest movies. If we go to the side, we can see here we have our different tabs to manage it. And then to get into the more of the details, we click on Manage MB Server. And one of the things that MB has over Plex is you can actually tweak more things. So Plex, in a way, is more slick uh, in that things work relatively well, but you don't have a lot of things that you can change. Plex, or uh, MB, on the other hand, has many different features you can change uh, if you're into that sort of thing. The other thing that MB has is parental controls, which are built right in, and with Plex, you actually have to pay extra for that. So if you look at the recurring cost for each one of these, you can see MB is $4.99 per month, $50 per year, or $119 for a lifetime. Plex is $4.99 a month, $39.99 yearly, but $119.99 uh, lifetime. So there's not really much of a difference if you just go ahead and buy that lifetime pass, basically 99 cents. Monthly, they're the same, and Plex has a slight advantage for the yearly price. But there is another alternative. And so that alternative is Jellyfin, which again shows movies, TV shows, music, and it even has live TV and DVR, which you have to pay extra for in both MB and Plex. If we take a look at Jellyfin, you'll see it looks very close to MB. So with MB, you don't pay any extra to get any extra features. It is what it is. It also has apps for all the different devices like your phone, your Roku, other things like that, just like uh, Plex does and MB does. And a lot of times the MB apps will also work for Jellyfin just uh, because they're basically based on the same code. One thing Jellyfin is missing is trailers and extras. I was looking for those and I couldn't find any of those. So unlike MB, Jellyfin doesn't have a decoder as in what I mean is that it will, MB automatically will create different resolutions of a video so that when you stream it to a device, it doesn't have to do any transcoding on the fly uh, like sort of Plex does or uh, Jellyfin does. And that's called a media optimizer. Now, one thing that MB and Jellyfin have that Plex doesn't have is plugins. And so plugins are a way to add extra functionality to your server. And here you can see these plugins are automatically installed with MB. If we click on catalog, we can see there's a bunch of other ones that we can add in. Now, if we look at Jellyfin, it also has plugins, but it only has two installed. And the catalog of plugins is much smaller. And so what it seems like Jellyfin has done is just basically taken the best or the most used plugins and ported those over uh, but MB has a wider range of plugins in case you need a particular program. So which one of these is the best? Well, I think it really depends on your circumstances. Uh, I can't really say for myself which one is the best. The extras in Plex are things that basically I'll never use. Uh, Plex has a bigger following online, so Plex has a bigger following online, so you'll probably be able to find more tutorials by people if you're having a problem or go to the Reddit. MB is also great and also has a great active online community, and its developers seem to be a little more responsive. Basically, if you want to buy it, it's almost the exact same cost as Plex. Uh, it has the benefits of plugins if you need any of those but it doesn't have any free content. Portainer is the new kid on the block. It has almost the same selection of features as MB minus a few different things. You'll definitely have to check it out if there's one particular thing that you're looking for. For the general per person who wants to stream their own content to their family, Jellyfin should be fine. One thing that Plex is starting to get in trouble for 
they're adding in free content, but they're trying to restrict their users now from sharing. So Plex is starting to be forced to rein in its users who basically set up their own personal Netflix and charge people to use their Plex server. What we could see in the future is that Plex will set limitations on the number of users that you can have under one Plex Pass. So personally, which one would I use? I think I'm going to try Jellyfin for, for a little while simply because everything is free and I find that it has the resources or it has all the options that I need. I don't really need the extra features that are in Plex or in MB. So I'm just going to go with that and I'll let you know if I change anything. So let me know down in the comments which one you like and you take care. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.